And he'll find. Oh no, he lost the football. Hi everybody. It's Welcome Madden back NFL to Face of the Franchise in Madden 23. In case you're wondering why I'm no all sad, that's week. why. Going over last week's episode was bad. It's the Vikings we the suck. Top. We're bad. I will contend some interceptions are my fault. Some are game being dumb. Or just receivers not running routes for some reason. So here's the whole thing. We can bounce back so and win a goddamn game. I want the hat to bring luck. This it's been back to back abysmal games. So here's the hoping. Yes, I'm aware we're at Hard Rock Stadium. Play the game. Stop defaulting to this damn thing. They'll come out throwing here to start the Shit. drive. And he can't get rid of it. Our offensive line down. can't block. Our receivers can't run routes, or if they do, then they'll send their AI freezes and doesn't catch balls. And then our running back jukes for no reason and can't get in the open field. And they can't catch at all. It's been the case. Um, it's been an abysmal, folks. Like, just bad, bad. And we have some kind of positive thing happen. We were holding. Like, literally... Last episode was just frustrating as all hell. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And he will have so forgive me if I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> just letting y'all know that right now. He wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes spectacular because tight ends nowadays they need to be smooth, all, the patient, trust, and things need to go well. Rivers, all right, let's keep this going. Nice yardage. Let's just keep this going. Come on. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory. They're trying to develop this one. Feeling could get open deep. Line. On play action, they'll throw. Let's it fly for Thielen. Mm. That's going to be knocked away. I need to get more arm strength. That's my last. Investment went to was to arm strength. I just need more. I can't throw it all deep at all. There we go. Good run, Cook. And we will. Damn it. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Emmanuel Ogba that time. He was unblocked. For a loss. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the first drive. A little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being he's hit, going. as you mentioned, they're moving the ball. Uh, sometimes the animation scheme are weird. He's down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Looking to throw. A quick throw knocked There's away. a lot of traffic in the middle there. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. Sliding out of the pocket. And it's caught in the end zone. Good stuff. Viking touchdown by Justin Thank Jefferson. you. A no. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Ay, ay, ay. After review of the play, the ruling on the field. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this was still okay. a touchdown after the video review. That was so weird. They had it right. <laughs> All right, good stuff, good stuff. All right. And defense got the stop we needed. That's good. I'll try to get them a little these pass rushers a little less aggressive by running the ball a little bit. First down, here's the Why did he see that's what I'm talking about right there. Why did he juke? Why? He didn't need to juke. Run through the hole. Why does the AI keep making him juke? The AI in this game is broken. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Second and nine now from the twenty-one. Back to throw. 
And this one too low. This defense for the Dolphins, they really He was he was gonna get tackled right away too. He was he was covered the entire time. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? Thank you for catching that. You know you're not the one I threw it to. They're freaking more trapping and crap there. But hey, it works. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. They run the counter with Cook. Yeah, he shoots again into the blocker. The numbers a week ago for Cook. Eight carries, 58 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first. But they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that. But they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. Right. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So on the Keep other it going, side folks. Keep now, it going. It's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll look to throw here. Oh, nifty Good job here. feeling. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Give him 30 yards there. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. There you go. And there you go. Down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. We need this. They'll run with Cook. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. I could have made that my guys could block. Again, no one blocked, no one open, no nothing. He talks too much. At least he didn't miss the field goal. And okay, at least they, and they got a field goal. All right. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, oh. his team in a good spot. A good ah. spot. Maybe looking for <laughs> touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. All I can say is, ah! <laughs> Handoff comes to Cook. Oh, good job. The truck Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll drop the throw. And he'll be brought down at about the two. That's what we need when he goes through the middle. They actually keep the block up. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking Oh. And he's going to be taken down here. Long developing play. I got destroyed. The, the pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine yard loss. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Now back to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And he's All right. Down inside <laughs> the 20 at the oh, man. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they Come on, let's do this. Come on. As a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance. And, of course, no block. Take it down. Back at the 25. Come on. Emmanuel Agba able to record his My offensive line is season. bad. How many times has freaking Kirk Cousins been sacked? Oh. Well, we had a pair of division rivalries in Did they seriously miss the field goal five, again? We've got another pair of good ones coming up here in week six. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like what what happened? Show me the Like what 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 happened? Oh like this is, 
Our special teams is bad. Our de our freaking our defense is bad. Our offensive line is bad. I'm about to say it's probably gonna be fucking intercepted. Here we go again. Just. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. There's probably a block field goal return for a touchdown, right? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. First down now, but that clock rolling. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. I hit the throwaway button like four times. And now they'll stop play here at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. And this one complete to Smith. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now a second timeout. Our defense needs to make a stop. Defense as they stop it here with just under... It's the Vikings turn. Oh, look, they can make field goals. Ready for their first possession of the second half. All right. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, mm -hmm. and get going. Make no mistake. He's going to do something it. here. Runs, I'm going to run the focus around the ball. I'm not going to worry about this they game telling me to throw the ball every five seconds. So far, the running has been good. Yeah, running has been really good between myself and Cook. Like, running has worked. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Another top five season in rushing for Cook last year. Third straight over 1,100 yards and his third straight ending with a Pro Bowl selection. This season can see a couple more milestones for him. He will cross 5,000 yards very early and could climb to third on the Vikings' all-time list of rushing leaders. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And a Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Melvin Ingram picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 30. And they'll get 14 yards. I'm frustrated, folks. We need this. But our freaking special teams, if we get to get, we need to get a field goal. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. So we just, like, not get blocked field goals. At the 21. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Again, it's Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 20. Yeah, a yard. Just one. Haven't been a defense coordinator yet. The thing second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I also saw their perk makes it harder to throw game, deeper passes. Or it's harder to see that but I got rid of that no perk, which is good. But still, I don't trust anything right now. Legs, able to push forward, pick up that first. And they Almost made that. Shy of the end zone. Almost. The run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. 
the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top Get in. defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little Come bit on. closer here. It's third and goal. They definitely run that way. They'll run for it with Thank you. We needed that drive so bad. We really, really did. My horns are too tall. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Vikings have cut it back within a score. So the second down run All right. didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here. Come on, make the extra point. Thank you. Hold them. Now the Minnesota or not. offense set to take over again. And now last drive so successful. Fourth quarter now. Game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coaching stick. You see my point? I make a good throw. They don't catch it. To make a good read, they don't run the route and it gets picked off. And they're blaming me for it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's frustrating in the half. Oh my god. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and seven. They're gonna look to throw. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And All right. will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's just ah. A give. This is cool. Just notice their perk right now is we have trouble blocking. We already can't block to begin with. That's a really good game. That's a bad combination. Five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle. Everyone's gonna want to touch the football. Be a lot of chatter right now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll drop to throw. How did he catch that? I thought that was picked. And he will have a I'll take it. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. He got smacked a little bit there. Brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And even 100 yards rushing for him so far. He didn't take over the game. He's doing, he's doing good. I called him out. He's doing good now. Second down, they go right back to Cook. Until there, he runs right into the enemy. To pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. They run it again with Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got Please it. Please, let's go for it. Tough sledding. They Good. They lose a yard there on third. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it, especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's Cook, land. Cook, get two yards. Because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your Thank you. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Oh no, he lost the football. But a Viking was able to corral this one, and Minnesota will keep possession. He got hurt for it. My and bad, while man. While all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Uh, give the Cook out of the gun. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15 yard line. I'm nervous. I'm being quiet because I'm focusing there. here. First down, Vikings. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Touchdown! I thought I was going to get picked. I really did. Oh, my God. Okay, D, please. Hold him, D. Please. Please. So all eyes on this Viking Shit. Down on the we got three timeouts.
All right, got three timeouts. Let's do this. He's back to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back to throw. And it's complete right back in the okay. hands of Smith. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. Uh. As they get it right at the 30-second mark of this fourth quarter. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on huge. the line point of attack line huge. used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make huge. him a target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. to throw and he'll find oh no he lost the football and the offense will get this one back boy that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game but they avoid disaster I'm going to let the clock run down I'm going to call timeout I and now they're going to get the timeout so a huge play has him in field goal range with a chance oh to possibly my God. send this one to OT. Please. Please. I did my job. Please. Please. I really wish I could watch the play. I don't want to watch this. Do we make it? Do we make it? Please say we made it. We did. Oh my god. This game was by far and away the most insane game of the season. Oh. Thank you, Odin. Thank you, Thor. Thank you, Fender. Thank you, everything. Oh my God! With the blocked field goal, whatever the hell happened earlier. So for Minnesota, oh, back to my heart. And three down. And God, able to Ooh. This one through we needed this. Before they get back at it again. <sighs> Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, oh the my. Here will move them back to 500. So was that one touch and a blocked field goal return? Back on the beam next week as they host the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know. It's not here. It doesn't matter. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. My heart is racing right now. I have nothing else to say. Um, Just, if you like this, please consider subscribing. And just, I'll see you all next time. This game better not just frozen. Good. I was about to freak out. As always, name's David. You can call me Fenrock. Take care. Skull to the max. God damn. <laughs>